I'm telling you, I have perfected the homemade shawarma. The tomb gotta be extra spicy. To start, we have to make our shawarma spice rub. This is turmeric, garlic powder, cumin, paprika, allspice, coriander, onion, cardamom, clove, cayenne pepper, and MSG. And we finish with salt and sugar. This is like my 10th variation of my shawarma mix. And honestly, finally, I think I've perfected it. To these spices, I'm gonna add some olive oil, squeeze in some lemon juice. We do a couple splashes of white vinegar. And then we finish the marinade with some tomato paste. I don't add yogurt to the marinade. I leave that for shishtawu. When you mix the marinade and the spices first, everything gets equally distributed. That way when we add the chicken, none of the spices are clumped up in a certain area. For the chicken, you already know the vibes, we're using some chicken thighs. Chicken shawarma is usually laid out on a large skewer, and in between the layers of chicken, there's fat. So at home, I don't like using breast, only thighs. I also like to keep the fat, you could trim it off if you want. To the thighs, I like to slice them into half inch pieces, enough to remain juicy but get crispy at the same time. I've tried every single home method, including the onion and the skewers, and for me, this is the best way. To merge the thighs into the marinade, make sure every piece is coated equally, and now we marinate until we lose patience. Preferably overnight, all the magic happens when it sits together longer. For me, it marinates for about two seconds. I've probably had about a thousand shawarma runs in my lifetime. Every time I was in Syria, that was my go-to street food food. So for me, a good shawarma is nothing without the garlic. Now, sometimes your boy gets heartburn from garlic, but I gotta do what I gotta do. In a large container, we're gonna add in a whole lot of heartburn. This gets a hefty pinch of salt. Go in with a neutral oil. I'm using only half the amount at first. And now we begin to blend it. I'm gonna dump in the rest of our oil and finish with a little bit of lemon juice and just keep blending. It should come out beautifully creamy, just like this. I know so many people that just eat this with straight pita. I always like to put sauces in the fridge and just allow them to set as we do everything else. So for the pickles in the Middle East, they usually use this like Arabic style pickle. But if you can't find some, just use some baby dill pickles. Just nice, beautiful slices. The flavor is in the char of the meat, so I'm gonna be using a cast iron skillet. You wanna get it extremely hot. There's lots of marinade juices, and if you overcrowd the pan, it will start to steam the chicken. It won't get crispy and it'll be rubbery. Do them in batches if you have to. We should hear a very loud and clear sear. Those spices are gonna hit your nose instantly. It actually smells amazing. I also don't toss and turn them. I let them develop a nice beautiful crust. This is what you want them to look like. When a shawarma is cooked on that spit, there's this beautiful smoky flavor that I like to replicate. So this is what I do at home. I'm just gonna grab a tiny bowl. I'm gonna line it up with aluminum foil. And then I'm gonna fill it up with a little bit of olive oil. I make a well in the middle and toss it in. And then I just lit up this natural charcoal. You can find it at almost any Middle Eastern store. When I toss it in, it's gonna burn the oil and after I toss on a lid it's gonna get that chicken nice and smoky here goes nothing you got to be quick this is my favorite part of the whole operation just let it sit five to ten minutes depending on how smoky you want it this smells incredible you see these pan drippings from the chicken we're gonna take our pita and give it a nice little swirl in there as it warms up we're gonna toss on the doom be very generous you want to burp when you eat it the juicy shawarma gets added we finish with those sliced pickles and we just tightly roll it up wrap it in parchment then aluminum foil and then we just toast it one more time diagonal slice because we're fancy and now we have final product Growing up, this has been my favorite sandwich of all time. So when they hand you the sandwich, they put a dollop of garlic on top like this. And that first bite just got to ruin your breath. And as always, Namsmillah. Wow. I'm not joking. The accuracy in the sandwich is scary. This is fantastic.